Hey my dear data friends, it's Nicola from Data Mozart. Have you heard that bidirectional relationships in Power BI are bad? But no one told you why. And there are certain scenarios when you simply have to use this type of relationships. For example, when you want to synchronize slicers to be cross-filtered between themselves, even though there is no direct relationship between those tables. So in this video, I'll show you how to avoid bidirectional relationship in this very common scenario. Stay tuned, as we will make some music from the data. Ok, before we dive deeper to explain why bidirectional relationships can come back to ruin your data model, let's first briefly explain what are bidirectional relationships. If you prepared your star schema model properly, once you establish the relationship between two tables in the model, the relationship cardinality should be one-to-many. Besides this cardinality type, there are also one-to-one -one and many-to-many -many types. Let's quickly understand what this one and m mean. In the well-designed star schema model, uh, dimension tables will be on the one side of the relationship. Simply said, there is only one certain product in the system, one certain customer, one certain date, and so on. On the other side is M, which means many. One certain product can be bought multiple times. One certain customer can make multiple transactions. And there can be as many as millions of transactions on one certain date. I'm using a very basic data model to show how this 1 to M story looks in reality. As you may see here, I have a fact table in the middle, which is table bets and two dimension tables, customer and competition. There is only one certain customer in the customer table and only one certain competition in the competition table. But one customer may place multiple bets, same as there can be many bets on one single competition. If you take a more thorough look at this uh, uh, picture here on your screen, you may notice a small arrow on the line connecting two tables. And it's not just that the arrow itself is important. The more important thing is the arrow direction. Uh, the arrow itself means that filtering is happening between the tables, while the arrow direction shows in which way the filter is being propagated. This is extremely important and in our example would mean if I filter the customer table and choose, let's say, a customer with ID 1, the filter will be applied on the bets table and I will see only those bets placed by a customer with ID 1 but not the other way around, as the filter propagates from the one side of the relationship to the many side. This is the default and I dare to say desired behavior because the Power BI engine is designed and optimized for moving a filter from one to many side in the most efficient way. This is so-called unidirectional filtering. Now let's go back to our report and see what is the specific requirement that we need to satisfy. Here is the list of our customers. Here is the list of regions that customer that uh, competitions belong to and competition names. So, for example, if I go to customer table, let me show you here. So, I have Angel Smith who is from USA, John Doe from USA and two customers from UK. On the other hand, I have uh, different competitions here that belongs to different sports and uh, my bets table contains uh, different data related to those dimension tables. Now let's say if I click on Angel Smith and I see that Angela bets because she's from USA, she bets only on US competitions like MLB or NBA. But uh, region is filtered fine because a region is the uh, column from customer, uh, dimension, customer dimension table, but competitions are, are not being filtered. So let's say that the business request is that competitions also need to follow the uh, filtering from customer table. Uh, in our case, if we go back, you see that filters go from customer to bets, but it doesn't go uh, uh, further for, from uh, bets to competition. So from customer to competition, we can't filter the data directly. Uh, the idea is to, when I select Angel Smith, to show only those competitions where Angel Smith place their bet, uh, her bets, so MLB and NBA. How do we do this? Well, it's quite simple. If I go back to my model view and just right click on the relationship between competition table and bets table, 
I can switch this cross filter direction from single to both directions. What will happen now is that Power BI will create a filter, uh, the, the, our filter will propagate in both directions. So, uh, customer table, uh, filter from customer table will, will reach bets table and it will propagate further to competition. If I go back here, you see that now we see only those competitions where Angela plays their bets, so MLB and NBA. Let's check, for example, for James Murphy. We see that he played only on Premier League, which is correct. Mary Doe, also Premier League, and John Doe, NBA and, and NFL. Now, this is a legitimate way to use bidirectional relationship, but I want to show you a much more uh, convenient way to get the same outcome without using bidirectional relationships. Because in the end, in this uh, model, in this example, which is quite basic, uh, you will not pay the price. But as soon as your model becomes more complex, bidirectional relationships can come back to hurt you and uh, you will have to pay not just performance price, but you also need to be careful because of potential ambiguity in your model. So how can we achieve the same outcome without using bidirectional relationship? First of all, I will re revert this to, uh, to a single uh, direction filter. Fine, let's go back and now again we see all the competitions for Angela Smith. How do we do this? If I go here to competition name, slicer and expand filter pane, I will just add a filter which says where bets amount is not blank. Okay, I will apply this filter. And now you see that we get exactly the same outcome as in the previous case. Uh, all uh, uh, When you select one customer, you will see only those competitions where the respective customer placed his bet. So this is much more elegant solution to avoid bidirectional relationship and to achieve the, the, the same outcome and to satisfy the business request that uh, your slicer fil uh, cross filtering uh, will be achieved. Thanks for watching and if you like this video, please consider subscribing to uh, my channel. See you!